Hello friends, welcome to MacLab School. In this video, we are going to simulate ANN PID controller of BLDC motor. The same model is available for download of the link given in the description. If you want, you can download it and you can use it for your purpose. Let us get into the simulation. So uh, this is the uh, simulation model that we are going to simulate. So here what we have done is uh, the reference speed is given here and the actual speed is calculated uh, from the output of the BLDC motor. So as you know, uh, the only difference between the BLDC motor and the PMSR motor lies in the uh, shape of the back end of. Uh, in the case of uh, a PMSM, the back end of would be uh, uh, sine wave and in the case of BLDC the back EMF would be trapezoid and uh, here we are using uh, a decoder and gates uh, bl uh, blocks so with these blocks we will be sensing the position of the uh, rotor by using the hall sensors and the hall sensors output will be converted to uh, the directions of the uh, back EMF here the minus sign indicates the negative direction of the back emf and the positive sign indicates the positive direction of the back emf output of the decoder block is given as input to the second stage so where uh, the back emf will be converted to the pulses which are to be given as input to the, the gates of inverters so q1 q2 q3 q4 q5 and q6 corresponds to the uh, switches in the inverter okay so coming to our main uh, thing here we are going to control the PID uh, I mean speed of the BLDC motor by using a PID controller uh, the PID controller would be uh, uh, that will be giving I mean getting its uh, gain values from the neural network so as you can see uh, the neural network gets the input from the reference uh, the actual speed also from the error uh, these three would be the data for the neural network and the output uh, will be the gains. So there will be three gains. Uh, the gains will be multiplied with the actual error. Uh, as you can see, this one corresponds to uh, the error. Error is calculated by comparing the actual speed with the reference speed. Uh, so this is the uh, integral part of the PID controller and this one is the derivative part of the controller P, I and D. The gains are coming from the previous stage. So uh, let us see how to uh, tune the neural network. So to tune the neural network, uh, I have uh, fetched the data already. So I will be showing you how to uh, tune the PID controller uh, ANN model. So uh, to provide gains for the PID controller. So I uh, to train uh, to train BLDC. I mean ANN. Uh, we need to give input as well as the output data. So here we ha I have a set of uh, input data, as you can see. And here uh, we have the output. So. Uh, to train this, we need to open n and two. Okay, so here uh, we have the n and two, or even you can use n and start if you are using uh, versions above this. Uh, this is developed. Uh, in version 2021a and if you are using versions like 2022 or uh, 2023a uh, you can use n and start so uh, to import the data from the workspace first of all we need to create uh, two variables input and the next one is the target so i am creating two variables here in so for the input, uh, we will be giving this data as input. Okay. So we shall paste here. So the data is pasted 
and for the target we shall use this data so uh, totally there will be 3006 uh, data uh, for a single row now uh, let us uh, import the values of in and out so we shall select in and this would be our input data and uh, the target data is uh, stored in the workspace variable target okay so as you can see the import data uh, uh, in I mean uh, input data is imported to input data and uh, here we have the target so next is new we have to click new so that uh, a new model can be formed even you can rename, uh, rename the name of the network so here we need to select input and the target then we have to create it so if you want to uh, uh, change the properties you can change it so let us create the network it's taking a while to yes okay the network has been created now so let us uh, open the network okay so after opening the network we need to uh, train the network so you can select the corresponding inputs and the targets also, if you want to rename this, uh, rename the outputs and uh, the error, you can rename it. Otherwise, uh, let the name be SH. Let us push train network. Okay. The training is completed. If you want to see the regression, you can click the regression. So as you can see, uh, the values uh, are one. So one corresponds to a perfect uh, training of the model. Okay, so uh, now the tra network is uh, been trained perfectly. So after training, this network can be exported to the uh, workspace. You can give export. So now we have exported the model uh, to bring this uh, uh, to the workspace. We need to give a command called GenSim, and we have to give the name of the variable right? work one. So uh, a model has been created okay so you have to do a simple thing just copy this just copy this and you can paste it here right just you can replace this and you can paste it here okay so after pasting the neural network here you just uh, press the accelerator button so let us see so it is getting compiled it's initiated
okay now we shall uh, see this speed yes uh, motor has started to run uh, so as you can see uh, the reference speed is uh, 1000 here so it is uh, setting perfectly at 1000 uh, rpm let us see the corresponding torque as well yes uh, this is the torque and also we can see the stator currents yes so these are the uh, stator currents okay. and here we have the back emf so uh, this is the back emf data And the last one is the output of pulse sensor. So if you want, you can zoom and you can see the uh, shape of the waveform. So as you can see, it, it takes uh, the shape of uh, uh, a trapezoidal uh, form. So as you can see, at this instant, the switching is uh, uh, it is giving high signal, and when the waveform reaches this flat surface, it is going back to zero. I uh, hope this model is useful uh, for you, and uh, if you want to use this model, you can download it and you can uh, use it for your purpose. Thanks for watching the uh, video. Uh, please like and subscribe our channel. That would be helpful for us. Thank you.